Hello and welcome to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting where today I'm going to be talking about the simple things to entertain your children. So the big question is this, how are parents like us who don't have a manual, who are doing the best we can, who feel as though we aren't enough, how are we going to raise healthy, happy children who we are proud of and still keep our sanity in that process? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Ryan Roy, and welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, a podcast for parents who are being real with themselves. Hello, and welcome back to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be talking about some simple things you could do to entertain your children for hours. The things that you can do, it's so simple. So for t- today, for instance, he's homesick, the little one's homesick, his brother's been getting out of school all week early, it's the end of the week now, it's actually Friday as I'm recording this, uh, late in the evening, and it, the little one being sick, wants to get out, he's been kind of you know, cabin fever. The older brother's been wanting to ride his bike every day. Uh, and it's real simple. He has a little push car that I, the small one that I put him in when his brother rides his bike. And he's like, Daddy, I want to push. So he gets out and he pushes it up and down the road as his brother rides the bike up and down the road. Simple concept. Get the kids out of the house, let them get some fresh air, give them some vehicle of sorts to play in. I imagine little girls do the same thing. Roller skates, uh, ice, uh, scooter, uh, you know, a bike, a tricycle. Uh, It's, it's, it's just getting out. And my wife today was home dealing with the baby and I was working and I said to her, why don't you get out? It's like, I don't want to go out, but the baby is uncomfortable. Like he's losing his stuff. Like, I don't know jack about parenting, But if the kid's losing his stuff and you want to be cooped up with that, that's a little crazy to me. So as soon as I got done with my my day a little early, uh, I was like, all right, boys, let's go outside. Can I ride my bike, Dad? Yup, throw on your helmet. Get the other one, his, his thing. They're going up and down the street for an hour and a half. Now here's the beauty. You want to hear something simple? This is how simple it it can be to entertain children. I'm kind of giving my wife a break at that point. I'm like, let's let's have some popsicles, guys. You know, the little one has a a, a, a sore throat. He has a what was it hand, foot, mouth right now, so he has sores everywhere inside his mouth. Get him a popsicle, and I say to him, he goes, Daddy. It's so funny. He actually says these things. Daddy, drive. Which means he wants to get in the the driver's seat of my car. And he wants to pretend like he's driving. So I open the door. He hops in the car. It's in the driveway. There's no keys or anything. He hops in the drive driver's seat. And he goes, close door, close door. And then I hop in the back like he's an Uber driver. And I'm like, where are we going? And he laughs and he looks back and he honks the horn and he does the windshield wipers and he puts on the hazard signs and the blinkers and he just having a grand old time. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, all I'm doing is sitting in the back of the car as he's hitting buttons and he keeps looking back like, dad, look at me, I'm driving. People, these the, the kids don't need a lot. They don't need a television, they don't need a device. They don't need anything other than they want to be like us and do the things that we do. So after he does that, I'm like, all right, grab your lawnmower. Daddy has a lawnmower and and he grabbed his little lawnmower. I said, I need you to mow the lawn. And he goes on the lawn and he starts going up and down the lawn with it. And then we live on like a hill. So I sat at the top of the hill and I was like, just keep mowing the lawn. And he's laughing all proud. And I sit at the top of the hill on a little curb that's uh, the, the the divide. It's the neighbor's driveway. It's a little um, step there, if you would. And I'm sitting on it, and he comes up. He sits right next to me, and I have my legs sprawled out straight. And he looked, and he sprawls his legs out straight, and he puts his little head on my shoulder. Like, I just want to be like Dad. But there's no control. There's no... 
you know, hey, let's do this. It's convenient for me. You know, I, I know, and, I, and look, I'm guilty of this too. I don't know jack about parenting, but I know this TV thing and these screens aren't the best for our kids. They're not even the best for us adults as I'm talking into one right now. Um, it, it detaches us from life. So to get out and get some fresh air and watch my boys run up and down the street or ride bikes and get in the yard and mow the lawn and do all of these things, it builds connection because as I was sitting at the top just watching him, he came up and put his little head on his shoulder like, Dad, I love you. And thanks for watching me. And thanks for playing with me. Thanks for paying attention to me. Thanks for letting me drive your car. Thanks for letting me be independent. Thank you for letting me run around the yard and do crazy things. That's what I got when he put his little head on my shoulder. And these are simple things, and I don't know what simple things you do with your kids, but this is so simple that people forget to do them. Just spend time with your kids. It doesn't have to be three hours like I did today. It could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Just giving their undivided attention, doing something that they want to do with you or be like you. And you might just find yourself smiling and enjoying their company and not necessarily fighting their company a lot of the times. Because kids could be a handful. But I think when they're whining and a little crazy, they're just saying, hey, I just want you to pay attention to me. I don't know, Jack, about parenting, but that just makes a lot of sense. We'll see you in the next episode. Do you want to be the dad you wish you had? If so, go get my free book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, at be the dad you wish you had com. Inside, you'll find my most effective 40 tips to quickly and easily transform yourself into the ideal dad. Go to be the dad you wish you had com now and get it while it's free.